know how important it was to my grandfather when he started it and you know they mortgaged their house when they got the first building. Dr. Jill Alexander's grandfather was Dr. Wall. Dr. Wall joined the three McFarland family members at the Fifth Street building in 1941. My grandfather was here when the you know during uh, World War II and so everyone left but my grandfather had a hernia so he couldn't go. So he asked Senior to repair it so he had his hernia repaired so then he could leave. So um, then he was just, um, so he left for the war too and only Senior I think was left during that time. While they were at war, McFarland's first female physician, Dr. Julia Cole, was added to the practice. After they all returned from the war, McFarland Clinic officially started. Dr. Wall's son joined McFarland in 1971. Dr. Jill Alexander says she basically grew up at the clinic. When I was born here, so born at Mary Greeley, and, and did my first checkups right down, the, well, different hall, but down with uh, uh, Dr. Hildebrand. Um, and uh, my sister and I used to tag along with my dad, too, on rounds. That was back when there wasn't so much HIPAA. Um, and we would go, and Jenny and I would hang out in the doctor's lounge, too. Well, my dad would do rounds on Sundays, and he would bring donuts always on Sunday mornings. Um, and we just spent a lot of time in these halls. We would um, sometimes play tag in these halls at night when no one else was here. Um, so I did, I mean, grow up around here and doing all that kind of stuff. Dr. Alexander then pursued a career in medicine. Um, left and went to school and didn't really think that I would come back. Um, but um, my dad had been a physician here and my grandpa. So um, I left and my husband and I did our residency and we were in Iowa City and we had our first child at that point and we were looking for places to go because Jake had finished his fellowship. and. Uh, suddenly home looked really good <laughs> and uh, McFarland was looking for a nephrologist and it was a place where Jake and I could both practice uh, in a multi-specialty group and be home. I always knew McFarland and what it meant. I knew how important it was to uh, my grandpa and my dad um, and that was an important reason to come back. She says she's proud to be a third generation doctor. You know, maybe one of our kids will come back and, and, and practice and you want to leave an organization um, better than you found it so that it'll be there for your kids and that next generation that comes. And so I think those are some neat things about having a legacy of, of being the third one here and who knows if there'll be a fourth. <laughs> the Wall family is just one example of the lasting legacy of McFarland Clinic.